how did I turn this pile of sticks into this beautiful wall art? Stay tuned to my video and find out how you can do it too. I do make a lot of these because they sell so well at my shows and they all start out the same way. I cut my scrap wood into two inch pieces with my table saw and then I paint each piece just with any kind of leftover paint that I have. And then I sand them smooth and distress the paint a little bit. Now on this one, I am using some slats that I had covered with a vintage nautical chart. And you'll see this chart come up in a couple of other videos too. And now the fun begins, creating the shape. I have to apologize for the weird camera angle. I was trying to stay in the shade and it, so it's just kind of a weird angle. but. So now I'm, I'm wanting to create a square that you can also display as like a diamond shape. So every time I cut, I'm making my cuts, I am sanding down the ends because I don't want any rough edges and I want a nice smooth round shape. And what this is also doing is when I sand the pieces that have the nautical chart, I'm able to sand the very edges smooth so that I don't have um, weird cut, cut marks. I hope that makes sense, but... Um, so I am creating this square shape and I'm just trying to get, you know, get things kind of uniform. Um, I do have to make quite a few cuts to some of these slats, but you know, that's to be expected. I'm, I'm trying to get as close as I can to, you know, a nice square shape without having pieces be, um, you know, wonky all over the place. And so just a lot of cutting, a lot of sanding, and I don't glue or staple anything down until I have my shape where I want it and I have my slats exactly where I want them because then I can go through and um, make any adjustments before I nail them down. That way I know I have everything where I want and I'm just trying to kind of alternate the colors too so that you don't have huge blocks of um, blue or huge blocks of white. It, it is, it is random. It is pretty random, but, um, so you can see me just sanding the, um, the ends down really well. And now I'm going back with my liquid nails, which has been an absolute game changer. Liquid nails is awesome. Um, and then I go through and nail with my Bostic air nailer. And let me tell you, this um, belt sander that I bought on Amazon. It, the link is in the description. It is absolutely a game changer for me with the sanding. It is just makes things so quick and I absolutely love it. It was my early, very, very early Christmas present to myself. <laughs> um, so I'm adding two layers of slats onto this one and pretty much just doing the same thing. Just getting the pieces where I want, getting the lengths where I want, and I kind of go back and forth with some of the lengths, but I'm just trying to make, make it pretty uniform and um, so that the, the ends closest to the center are, are close together and there's no, there's no gap. Um, I don't like gaps in these things. I am really loving this teal blue. Wait until you see it up close. It is awesome. Really the best part of this design for me was creating the center. And normally I put a mirror in the, in the center, but I wanted to try creating a flower made out of broken shells. So, you know, I, I live at the beach, so I, there's my little buddy. Um, I even pick up broken pieces of shells. I think these are maybe scallop shells. I'm not really sure. But I pick up the broken pieces because they make great flower petals. And I have created shell flowers before that would just sit on a table or um, hang on the wall. I have to sh show you some. But I thought, you know what? This would make a great center embellishment for one of my mirrors. And so this is my first one. And I want you guys to let me know what you think. Is this a keeper? Um, I don't know. It's um, This one's hanging on my wall right now, and I don't 
think that I'm going to sell it because I love it. I love this color. That teal blue has such a cool nautical vibe to it. And then, you know, paired together with the, the slats that have the nautical chart and then the white, I just love it. Um, I am adding a little hanger on the back. And if I do decide to sell it, I will be painting the back um, just to, to clean it up a little bit. But here it is on my wall. I absolutely love it. I um, hope you enjoyed this quick little video and, um, you know, maybe get inspired to create your own. Happy crafting. Thanks for watching. Bye.